I've got some really exciting space news. Lisa, the space-based version of LIGO, was just approved by the ESA. That's too many acronyms. Let me explain. Okay, so this is LIGO, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory. It detects gravitational waves, or literal ripples through space, that are caused by big events like black holes colliding or neutron stars colliding by measuring how Earth changes as these gravitational waves pass through. Earth gets a little bit squished and these kilometer-long arms change slightly in length relative to each other and we can measure that and it's amazing. LISA, or the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, does the same thing but in space. The idea is you put three spacecraft out there and as gravitational waves pass through our solar system, the distances between these spacecraft will change slightly. Here's the crazy part. The spacecraft will be separated by 2.5 million kilometers. Separating the spacecraft by that much will allow us to detect much lower frequency gravitational waves than we can on the Earth with experiments like LIGO, but higher frequency than the gravitational waves that were recently detected with the pulsar timing array. So it'll allows us to fill in this gap a little bit. And you can see that these frequency waves are caused by different cosmic events than what we can detect with LIGO. This constellation of spacecraft will trail the Earth as it orbits around the Sun, and it's just a bonkers amazing idea. Why am I talking about this now? Well, yesterday, the European Space Agency, or ESA, announced the formal adoption of LISA. This gives the go-ahead to start building the actual instruments and spacecraft. Construction probably won't actually begin for another year as they still need to choose a contractor, and then the launch is slated for the mid-2030s, so we are still a ways away from LISA being a reality. But this is a big step forward for the project, and it's such a complex and interesting idea, I'm just really excited about it. 